Alright, what is up you guys? Because always welcome back to another really, really well constructed opposing team. Nice Armando, really <laughs> cool. Huh. Question is though, like Toros just brings shivers down my spine. Um Am I am I really that easily defeated by Reagan? I kinda I kinda feel I am. I'm going to lead off with Rainbrand, I think I can U-turn and pressure my opponent with that, but this, this is a tough team. And I think my Tabu Koko is like my only response to his Hydreigon. That's, that's not a good thing. <laughs> that's a very, very scary concept. So anyway, my opponent, good luck, of course, as always, and have fun. Starts off with... Ooh, Dreldon, that's, um, that's kind of aggressive. Um, what do I do versus this? I feel like you turn. So, Rocky Helmet. I guess I don't you turn on that one then. Um, yeah, Osmath, I mean, that's my Assault Vest user. Should stomach anything he can throw at me. Unless he carries Earthquake. Flash Cannon, yeah. Should stomach that, alright. Um, gonna do aggressive play here. I don't think my opponent's gonna stay in. I think he did. I'm pretty sure he did. Don't tell me he did. Oh, oh yeah. That's that's actually quite right. Right, let's see. How much will this do? I'm pretty convinced this kill. Resist it or not, you're you're so dead, buddy. Yeah, 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 that. <laughs> Reggie like you people. That's how it goes. Next one, please. I might sound overconfident, but that's tremendous damage output. All right, Scarlet Pete. We do outspeed it the first turn. Oh, is it Sash? Maybe it looks to be Sashed. Did I get baited? Mm -hmm. That's me trying to... Trying to make up my mind. Um, I think Costa can take any type of damage. But he is at plus two. That's my Lenoin. Foshgold is kinda nice. I feel Earthquake is safe for him to go for, so I'm gonna hope he does that. I think I don't think Vorskald is overly important for this matchup. It's good, just not... Oh, he protects. <clears throat> I swear, if he's a bad and pass variant. I'm U-turning here. Yeah, sucker. I don't know why, but I just had that feeling in my head, like, I swear if this is gonna happen to me now. If I were him, I'd absolutely send in Tauros. Absolute mad lad. Yeah, we did alright though. So... I mean... I got a hope on a burn, stuff like that. We do have the Culver Berry, which will save me from not maybe dying of that Pro Chop, maybe? Huh. <sighs> it is not good. On heads. Should have Pro Chop, man. Definitely Pro Chops. 
Oh, oh, oh. Hell yes. How about piss off, buddy? <laughs> Not throw chop. Then again, like I said, that wouldn't have killed me because my Colderberry, but yeah. I don't know about that. So he's gonna give that one another try, isn't he? I'm stealth rocking here. Oh, there's a throat shot, but that's what I'm telling you about. That's that's the play. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. Don't get me wrong here, I am definitely not dealing well with Hydreigon. I need to try to kill this guy. I think he just bat and passes here. No, he actually goes for the try to go for a kill. Oh. Alright, cool. We're still in this, but damn. That could have gone very nasty though. Bat and passing, yeah. That's um that's the stuff of nightmares. Really, it really actually really is. So Hydreigon, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing, though. I don't switch into this at all. Um, Dora Pulse does so much damage to me. I mean, he has a free nasty plot in his hand if he wants to. Depending on his sets. It's mildly annoying. I'm actually gonna send in Vorskull. I think... If he goes for a nasty plot, maybe I can try to gauge him, but I just... I don't want to be in that position when I can't toxic him. Alright, cool. Depend on damage, but cool. I absolutely close combat here. There is... There is no turning back. If he can Draco, he Draco. But he is absolutely Scarfs. Gets the flinch, yeah. I know about that. Dark Pulse again, I swear this other is gonna just defeat me each out, out of flinching power alone. Yeah, that's <laughs> I hate this game so much. Um <laughs> Don't get it one more time. Yes. Like what's that so tough? Damn it. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, I think we're in the end game. More Pico. I was absolutely sure he was gonna protect. I just, don't get me wrong here, um, I just really really thought his best play in mind with uh, a bad and passing skull beat was protecting and speed boosting something else. Hence why I said the self rise because I was convinced he was gonna try to abuse that. But it looks like we just got ourselves in a very nasty spot, and um, there is. I don't think there's any turning back depending on his uh, braviary. Oh, here we go. I do have speed though in this form, which is kinda nice. But I think a max airstream will put him at plus one, which will be tough. That's, um, hmm. Okay, let's think about this. I have a situation now when I can't outspeed him. That's gonna be um, something I have to have in mind, yeah. It would have been KO, however, if this wasn't happening. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, oh. Chris, come on, there is. Still got this, right? I'm just thinking here, there is like no way he kills me, right? I mean, I figure. I'm taking a risk here, but I hope this Max Knuckle don't KO. I trust my Explode. 
Yes, yes, I trust him. I trust him a lot. You're out. <laughs> that was a cool game, though. Um, definitely, like, the shift of momentum was quite hard, but... Um, Armado, or Armado, thank you so much for the game. That was actually very, very well played. Uh, that was absolutely nervous. Um, so anyway, that's all you guys. Thank you for, of course, watching. I hope you enjoyed this game, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, as always, take care of one, all right? Bye.